so on. So we have a uh, math counts problem again. So this is the uh, a spring run on the number 30 on a chapter completion. So which is the last question on the test. So we have a circle has a radius of six, so which is given right there. And then there is a point A and B. And from point A and B, you just draw two tangents from each point to the circle. And the angle in at B and at A is 60. And then there's a 90 degrees angle in between OB and o, OA, okay? And based on this, what we want is the area of this shaded region, which is, we are told quadrilateral, it looks like a triple A. So we'll see if that's the case, um, if we need to. Um, so what we are gonna do, you know, this is the a circle problem. So I would like to connect the center point to the uh, tangencies, which is like F, and then I can connect with uh, this tangent point, and then I can do the, the same thing with this tangent point as well as the point C. So just a reminder, you know, whenever you have a circle, so let's say this is my circle, and if I have a point outside and drawn to a tangent line to the circle, the when you have the, the case, let's say this is P, and then this is A, and this is B. So the PA and PB are equal because if I draw, draw the, the radius from the center to the um, this tangency point, this is gonna be 90 degrees. And then this is also a 90 degrees. And if you don't know why that's the case, you can take a look at the, the proof for that. So, and then if I connect these two, the center point and the point outside of the circle. So this is R and this is R. So which means this is same as this one and then the OP is equal in this triangle and in this triangle. So which means the triangle on the left and the, on the right are identical. So we can say uh, because hypotenuse leg theorem, because we have the hypotenuse and one leg is equal, or we can just use the Pythagorean. Since we have the hypotenuse and one leg are equal, so the other side is also equal. So meaning that the, the triangles are congruent, but also meaning that will tell us the angles right here, which is the corresponding angles in those two congruent triangles are equal, same as the angle right here, same as this angle. So, and for that reason, we can divide this 60 into two pieces because that's the identical triangle like OBE and OFB. And then those are gonna be 30. So I'm gonna just say this angle right here is also a 60 degrees, okay? So let's keep that in mind. So this is 60, this the angle right here. And the similar reasoning, when you drop the radius from O to C, so the angle is 90 degrees. And my goal is just to find a um, angle measure of this. So maybe I can find the areas. Uh, so this is 60 and then this is 90. This is also a 30. So which will make this guy to be 60 as well. But just look at the point O, and around this O, there is 60, and then 90, and, and another 60, and then there is angle right there. So let me draw this a bit bigger. So we have something like this. So this is the point O, this is F, and then this is C, and this is 6, and this is 6. You know, the 60, and then this is 90, another 60, if you add those, that's 120 plus 90, which is gonna be 210. If you subtract from 360, you will get the angle, um, angle right this part, okay? So this angle right here, which is the angle O in this triangle is a 150 degrees, okay? So, and I do know this is 60, this is 60, you know, if I know this angle and this angle and this angle, maybe it will be easier to find the area of those triangles and I add them together. But let's um, keep this in mind. This is 150 degrees. I'm gonna leave it as this because I'm gonna divide into two pieces next time um, after I'm, I just get something. So like we know that the, if I kind of see this looks like a half of the, this one, but you know, when you try the O to D, so this was also another tangent, and this was a 30, so which means the angle right here is a 60 degrees. 
if this is 60, and then since we know this was a 90, which will tell this part to be 30 degrees, okay? So let me write that. So this is a 30 degrees. And similar reasoning, so OEB is a right triangle, so this is a 90 degrees, which means BOE is also 60. If this is 30, so that means this is also 30, and this is also 30 degrees. I hope that was clear. If you are not convinced, just pause and slowly kind of listen to what I said and convince yourself before we move on. And we got these uh, 30s. Now it's kind of nicer to go with. If I want to find the area of this region, I'm going to split into triangles. That's basically FOD, the area of the FOD, plus um, ODE. Okay, and then is EOC. And then plus OFC. So most of these are easier because the, the first one, FOD, this triangle, is a right triangle because this is 360, which is 90. And then this is radius, this is radius, which is a right triangle. Uh, with the six and six. So the area will be six times six over two. And the same thing with EDC. So that is also six times six over two. And for the ODE, which is this triangle where we have 30 degrees as the uh, this angle and then other two base angles are 75 and 75. Uh, so we can get that. But you know, if you wanna find the area of that triangle, maybe we can do something a bit better. So just imagine this is the, the triangle we have, 30, 30 and 275 as the base angle. So this is 30 degrees, but this is six and this is six. And if I wanna find the area, I just like to know the height for one base. If I drop the altitude for this six, so that will be a 90 degrees. If this is 30, this is gonna be 60. And 30, 60, 90 triangle, the hypotenuse is twice as much of the, the side that is opposite 30, so which is why this is three. So the area of this triangle is just the this region, which is gonna be the height is three, base is six over two will be the area. And we got that part. And the last part is a bit challenging, which is this one. And this is where we are gonna drop the, the altitude as well. So let's do that. If I drop the altitude from D to FC, like we can draw this line and then that will be 75 and this is gonna be 15 and this is 75, this is also 15. So you may use some sort of trick in this problem to find the area of this region, or you can just say like, you can extend this segment because th this is 150. If you extend this, like I'm gonna show you that a little clip. If you extend this uh, segment, so we can kind of drop the altitude for this uh, F4 and draw the altitude from this to this line. And this height is what we want, right? So which is we can, because you know, the this is 150, so this is 30 degrees. And then this is 90, that means this is 60. So there is a right triangle with 30, 60, 90. So the hypothesis is six, 30 degrees is opposite to half of six, which is three. And that means this is my altitude. And then the base is six. So that will be three times six over two. And then we got the area of that triangle as well. So as soon as we add this, I will get a 54. So this is the, the answer. But here's the um, quick reminder, which as you see, we didn't really use it. But another way to look at this problem is we could get the area of the triangle when we have uh, 15, 75, 90 degrees, which we don't really usually have, but it is good to good to know that triangle as well. And I will highly recommend you to prove this uh, on your own if you can, maybe I will do this sometimes later. But if I have a 30, 60, 90 triangle, I mean 15, 75, 90 triangle, and if I drop the altitude, there is a nice relation between the hypotenuse and the altitude. So like if this is my altitude, the height is, I'm gonna call this is H and the hypotenuse will be four times as much. And I will ask you to see if you can prove this relation. 
uh, for like one to four ratio in uh, 75, um, 15, 90 triangle. And even you can go further, you can prove a relation between the legs and the hypotenuse of this triangle as well, because that looks like another special triangle that we like to uh, use, I guess, as we go. So that's the, the answer without really using this, but this is also good to use. And one more approach for, for those people who wants to challenge. So, you know, we are given like, this is 60 when you split into half. So, you know, this is gonna be OB and then O is A. They are identical because we said this is triangle identical to this one. And then this, this triangle is identical to this one. All four of those triangles are identical, which is why their hypothesis is also equal. And which will make, if I connect A to B, okay, which is another kind of approach to do this problem. And if you draw this, then the ABO will be a isosceles right triangle, which uh, will give us a 45, 45. And you can say this is 15 to get 45, and then this is 15, and then you can get this angle and stuff like that. So you can go from there and then just do another approach. But I think this is uh, good for this problem. I hope that was clear. I'll see you in the next video.